rise up, O Pharaoh. Take your head, gather your bones, and shake the earth from your flesh. One of the great conundrums of the ancient world is how it all began. The first cities on earth were built in the marshlands of Mesopotamia, southern Iraq, by a mysterious people we call the Sumerians. This was in about 3500 BC. Within a century or so, on the banks of the river Nile, an equally mysterious clan known as the followers of Horus suddenly appeared. Within a relatively short time, they had conquered the whole of Egypt, and their rulers, the Horus kings, became the first pharaohs. What was the spark which ignited Egyptian civilization? And who were the followers of Horus? These are just two of the major questions which we'll seek to answer in a major two-part documentary series entitled The Egyptian Genesis. Egypt is a land of wonders. But its origins remain a mystery. The Egyptian Genesis will uncover extraordinary evidence to show that the followers of Horus were in fact adventurers from ancient Sumer, who had journeyed by sea to Egypt in search of a new homeland. In an amazing feat of skill and endurance, they dragged their large reed ships from the Red Sea to the Nile through the sandstone canyons of the Eastern Desert. With these ocean-going battleships launched into the River Nile, they easily conquered the indigenous Egyptians, establishing the pharaonic state which went on to build the mighty pyramids. Program 1 begins in the Valley of the Kings, where Egyptologist David Roll, that's me, reveals the amazing imagery of the pharaonic underworld. All over the walls of the royal tombs are ships carrying strange symbols. What does all this mean? By the end of the first program, it will be clear that the mythology of the Egyptian afterlife represents the return journey of Pharaoh's spirit from Egypt back to the homeland of his primeval ancestors eastwards to the Isle of Flame, where the sun is resurrected every day and where the gods were born. For the last five years, I've been exploring the vast expanse of Egypt's eastern desert between the Nile and Red Sea in search of prehistoric rock art. Hundreds of sites have been found where ancient artists carved depictions of hunting scenes, men with tall plumes on their heads, and above all, high proud ships, thousands of them. What are they doing in the bone dry desert? That's the question, and one which the central part of this first program will endeavor to explain. It's my view, and there's lots of evidence to back it up, that these are Mesopotamian ships, bringing invaders from the east. will show that they're intimately linked with the legendary followers of Horus and that their leader became the ruler of a new kingdom based in southern Egypt, near the site where the Temple of Edfu now stands, dedicated to the falcon god Horus.
a CGI sequence will bring to life the amazing accomplishment of the dragging of high proud ships through the desert canyons. Ancient artifacts found in pre-dynastic Egypt are shown to have Sumerian origins. It's the same for the monumental architecture of early Egyptian civilization, which has its precursor in the cities of Mesopotamia. We'll transport the viewer to the dusty plains of southern Iraq, to archaeological sites which have not been filmed since the advent of modern television. Here we'll see the originals from which the Egyptian versions were copied. Finally, at the end of program one, I'll pose the major questions which have arisen from what we know so far. Why did the Sumerians make the dangerous journey to Egypt? And how did they get there? Program two begins with a recap of what we've revealed in the previous hour. We then introduce the audience to the legends of Mesopotamia and the biblical book of Genesis regarding the foundation of civilization and how it was all destroyed in the Great Flood. Out of that terrible disaster grew an even more powerful kingdom under the leadership of Nimrod, the mighty hunter and the first potentate on earth, as the Bible calls him. We'll identify Nimrod with Enmer Kar, ruler of Uruk, the greatest of the Sumerian cities. This great king of Sumer was the grandfather of the hero Gilgamesh. Enmer Kar built the Tower of Babel which will be reconstructed using CGI from the original excavation data. Archaeology has revealed that during the Uruk period, the time of Enmer Kar, Sumerian colonies were being established in the far-flung corners of the world. Not long after, the heartland of Sumer itself was abandoned and the great building program, including the Tower of Babel, came to a halt. This was precisely the time that the followers of Horus appear in the Nile Valley. It looks as if these newcomers to Egypt were refugees from Mesopotamia, the kinfolk of Nimrod, and through him, the descendants of the flood hero, Noah. The climax of the series will bring all the archaeological detective work together to show that the religion of the pharaohs was based on a distant memory of a dreamlike past at the dawn of history. This was the era of the Egyptian Genesis, which the pharaohs called the first time when gods and heroes walked the earth. <laughs>